Riding is back in Rochester this weekend. You can check it all out at Graham Arena. That's where we find our Zach Fuller right now. Zach, how's it going? And I have to ask, what level of bull riding are we talking about this weekend? Hey, Cammie, it's going well. We're down here in Graham 1. They are currently setting up uh, here for the bull riding event, the Rochester Bull Riding Challenge. Now, it is going to be both uh, some professionals, but some local amateurs as well. Uh, you, people could sign up. Unfortunately, that uh, wait list is full. Uh, so if you wanted to see anybody from KTTC ride a bull, unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen this year. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm joined here by Brandon uh, with Big Bang Companies. Brandon, come on over here. we got a lot of fun in store for people this weekend. Yeah, we've got a great weekend in store. We've got both Friday and Saturday night. We obviously have the bull riding both nights. So uh, Friday night, definitely family-oriented kids tickets available uh, great family fun out here Saturday night uh, come back and join more of the show so they're currently getting set up here when when did this all start of getting this arena ready for what's going to happen here tomorrow night uh, we've been kind of doing some setup in here since uh, Monday or Tuesday the dirt came in Monday uh, the big pile of dirt uh, and then we've been setting up screens and all the other technology seating and stuff for the rest of the past couple days now you mentioned that this dirt is kept here locally and it's it's pretty thick and it's also a specialty kind of dirt talk about that yeah so the for bull riding you have to have a specific type of dirt and that's why we had to have it and we keep it here stored uh, locally on the fairgrounds just so that we can use it year after year. Any other events besides bull riding that's going to be going on this weekend? Yeah, actually, after each uh, night, we have got some uh, great concerts next door in Graham, too. Uh, on Friday night, we've got a couple uh, really good local bands, uh, Latin bands, and then we've got uh, one coming from, I believe they're down in Georgia. Uh, don't quote me on that, uh, but from uh, down south someplace. And then Saturday night, we have a, a, a local native, uh, Aaron Simmons, who's uh, out of Nashville now, but originally from Stewartville playing his full band. Yeah, absolutely. And for our Midwest Access viewers, you might remember Aaron. He actually played on Midwest Access uh, a couple months ago. So definitely uh, great to have some local talent coming back. And you mentioned two great nights of fun. If people want to go to get tickets, wh where would they go for this? Well, a couple places you can get them online. You can get them at rochesterbullriding.net. There's links right to the tickets uh, for both the concerts and the bull riding itself. And then uh, available uh, locally at Tavern 22. And you mentioned that this event's been going on for about 20 years now, is, is that right? Yeah, a little over 20 years. Uh, I'm one of the new owners that purchased it a couple years ago, so it's uh, we're still fairly new to it, but we had uh, the previous owner gave us a big uh, notebook of, of how-tos. And is there anything new this year that you guys might be trying or, uh, you know, might be expanding that notebook? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You, uh, we've got a couple screens up uh, that we're uh, raising up, and we're actually going to be doing live video shot, too. And our goal is by next year to actually be able to do an instant replay. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what would the instant replay be used for? Just to, you know, pardon my ignorance. Just a, a quick, if you have a quick ride or a wild ride, you'd be able to go and throw that back again when they're getting the next rider ready to go. So just to kind of keep the entertainment going all night long. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned that this is also a pretty popular event. You guys are expecting some big crowds down here? Uh, yeah, it sells out every year. Um, uh, Saturday night, I think we're almost 75, 80% capacity already. So if you haven't got your tickets, probably want to get them now because uh, a lot of times we do have people show up to the door and we're at capacity and we've got to turn them away. Absolutely. And one last time, where do people want, uh, go if they want to get tickets? It's rochesterbullriding.net or available locally here at Tavern 22. All right, Brandon, thank you very much thank for taking the time to talk time. with us. Appreciate it. And as you heard, again, Friday and Saturday down here at Graham 1, you can purchase your tickets uh, online or at Tavern 22. Going to be a lot of fun, Cami. Uh, definitely want to come out and check the fun. Uh, so definitely a fun event. Yes, it looks so fun. So excited for them to be back in Rochester. And again, tickets available. Just a few left. We have the, all the details on our website, ktdc.com. Just click Midwest Access. Zach, thank you so much.